welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a family that you should be familiar with from National Pride and Higher and that is the alcohol family. First of all we're going to recap the properties of alcohols. The first property that we're going to look at is the melting and boiling point of alcohols. This is high compared to the comparable mass alkanes. This is because of the hydrogen bonding between the alcohol molecules. Hydrogen bonding with water also makes alcohols more soluble than comparable mass alkanes. However, longer chain alcohols are not soluble in water. Alcohols are also highly flammable and they make very good solvents. Alcohols can be prepared in a number of ways. The first way we're going to look at is through nucleophilic substitution. If you take a haloalkane and either KOH or NaOH in water, then you will produce an alcohol. Mechanisms for, for this can be found in my video on haloalkanes. Second way is one that you'll have came across previously, and that is reduction of either an aldehyde, a ketone, or a carboxylic acid. To carry out reduction, you need to use lithium aluminium hydride. The final method for preparation of alcohols is one which we'll look at the mechanism for, and that is the acid catalyzed hydration of an alkene. That involves the use of both water and H plus acid. So let's look at the mechanism for this in more detail. Here we have propene and we're going to add water onto this to produce an alcohol. The first step is to use the acid The double bond, which has a lot of electrons, moves out here to get to the acid. This is an electrophilic addition. That leaves this carbon here as a carbocation as the electrons moved off here to form a bond between the carbon and the hydrogen. This is a carbocation intermediate. We then have water, which as you know has two lone pairs, one of which can attack the carbocation intermediate. Water now has one too many bonds and is thus positive. And one of the H's can be removed to regenerate the acid catalyst and also to put the water that produces propan 2 all. You may notice that I took the electrons and they attacked this way here to join the hydrogen onto this end carbon. Equally you may have thought that we could have went the other way. This is the major product which is produced through acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes and when you go on to look at the alkene topic you will find out why that is the case. Alcohols can be involved in lots of different reactions. One reaction that you will be used to is the oxidation of alcohols using acidified dichromate or tollens or phalanx to produce aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids.
Another reaction that you would be familiar with would be the condensation reaction to produce an ester. Esters can be produced by condensation reactions with carboxylic acids. This requires concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst and is a reversible reaction and can be quite slow. However, if you were to use an acid chloride, the reaction is much faster and is not reversible, so this is a better way to produce an ester. Another reaction that was touched upon in the Hallowell Keynes video was that to form an ether. If you react an alcohol with a reactive metal such as sodium, then you will produce what is called a sodium alkoxide. This can be, then be used as the nucleophile to produce an ether. Finally, alcohols can undergo dehydration reactions using aluminium oxide or concentrated sulfuric acid. This produces alkenes and is the opposite of the acid catalyzed hydration reaction. Thank you for watching my video on alcohols. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for regular updates on new videos. See you in the next one. Bye.